I need to moisturize their hair. Point blank period. Tight. Lift it up. Tight. Life without you been feeling kind of strange but well, I see that you're doing very well <laughs> You looking very well I miss the way your perfume smell I miss the way that you blow up my line Just to make sure that I'm feeling Hey guys, it's Christine Marie back with another video Okay you guys, as you can see in the title um, This video is just basically going to be another high puff video I don't have nothing better else to do So it's like, why not do another high puff video Plus, I'm in quarantine right now because it is coronavirus so i was like why not record a video for you guys um i know y'all really like my natural hair videos because the high puff video y'all was really up there like i had over maybe like 40k views let's get into this video as you can see y'all i got the big two uh, eco style like y'all my mama brought me this this is the, this the big thing you go style y'all it was only $14.99 that's not bad and this is a, a 2.32 liter so I don't know if I got it for me because I wasn't gonna buy it <laughs> but yeah I was thinking because I texted her while she was at work I was like money's some more eco style I thought she was gonna just gonna get me the regular one but she got this and you already know if you're a true K baby you already know how I'm rocking with the she bomb but slick, I lowkey think I want to switch edge controls. This is the only one that really works. But as y'all can see, I leave my edges a little white, and we can't have that. Period. But y'all, let's get into this video. I'm trying to unscrew it. We're just gonna get straight to the point because this should not be long a long video, y'all. It's gonna be a simple. If I can find my freaking brush. I just had that brush too. Oh, okay. This is a bit cute little style. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christine. Period. Should I see my edges look a little white? But we can get into it. <sighs> okay, so. I need heavy handed with equal style. They're not supposed to be, but I'm heavy handed. So we just gonna use this to slick up, you know, the edges. I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna post this video. If I'm gonna post this today, it's gonna be some kind of day. Like, I gotta. What I gotta do? I gotta finish my math work. After I do that, then we're gonna post this. You did. <laughs> so, what I know I'm gonna do. I've been seeing people struggle with doing their puffs, y'all. It's really simple. Ugh. So, I gel up my perimeter first. Some people, like, sometimes I'll tie my ends, but y'all see? I was just so slick. So slick. I'm trying to do this into a high puff. I don't like my puffs being low. I can't stand it. So, okay, I got my wrist brush. And I got this. If you haven't seen my older video, previous video, whatever, when I do my puffs, this is what I use. You're probably saying, what is this? This don't look like no hair tie. My hair is quite frankly a little too thick for a hair tie. I don't feel like going through the trouble with hair ties because I keep popping them. I use them when I do like low slip. Ooh, that's a big I can do for you guys. Okay, <laughs> a low slip back puff. <sighs> I'm talking too fast. I'm talking too fast. Let me slow down. Let me slow down. Because you're getting out of breath and that don't make no sense. I'm sitting in the chair. We're not a breath talking. This this just it's ridiculous. Okay, so this is basically a stocking, y'all. Let me get a close. Too close. This is a stocking. So basically you get some old stockings or you can get some new stockings. Just or get some cheap stockings. Cause stockings can be maybe like four dollars just for something if you poke it, it's gonna a hole gonna run through it. Whatever. Whatever, never. But basically Get some old stock and new stock and say we want to do it. Um, I cut the the footy part off, the leg part off, and I tie knots in it. You don't have to tie knots in it, but I do because that's what I wanted to do. You don't have to do that. 
basically this is a better technique my mom taught me this because me y'all i'm just clumsy just just clumsy okay so i don't like loose buns i just do not like that i only wear a loose bun if i'm real chill I just, if it's just a chill day and I just don't kill a lot, it's just, just a messy bun. I love messy buns. That can maybe be a video, y'all. A messy bun. If y'all want to, if y'all want to see a messy bun tutorial, you really don't need no tutorial for a messy bun. But everybody don't know how to do a messy bun like me. Sometimes my messy, messy buns turn out a little too more neat and messy. Comment down below if y'all want to see a messy bun tutorial um another thing yeah this helps because people don't realize like when you use shoe strings i used to do that shoe strings or whatnot for like tight buns or whatever and then you leave them in it breaks off your head this is less what's the word what's the word i'm gonna say strain less harsh it's less harsh for your hair when I mean, your hair should not be breaking off from this Especially if it's moisturized. Normally, I try to moisturize my hair because your hair breaks off the most when it's dry. I try to moisturize my hair before I put it in the bun. I don't know if it's a little moisturized. Probably look a little dry. Because it's like my hair can be moisturized and it look dry. And I don't know. Maybe that's why I got to moisturize my hair more than once a week. I don't know. But yeah, I use this to do my buns, y'all because how can your hair y'all it's i got a whole video on that on 10 um 10 girl tips on how to grow long hair and for your hair to retain length y'all should definitely go check that video out because if you don't moisturize your hair how's your hair gonna grow your hair is gonna grow but it's not gonna retain length because the hairs on the ends these hairs on the ends gonna break off they're not moisturized. People do not understand that. Like, dang, I'm trying to grow my hair for years. And it, it just ain't getting nowhere, baby. It's not getting nowhere because you're not moisturizing the ends of your hair. You got to moisturize the ends of your hair more than once. You got to sleep with a satin bonnet on. It's just so much. <laughs> it's so much. But y'all should definitely go check that video out for sure because it could help y'all. Like, really help some of y'all that's out here struggling. Everyone's hair is different, of course. But I know that's one of the keys. Need to moisturize their hair. Point blank, period. Okay, so this is what I normally do. I'm putting my hair in my ears. See how my hair is coming? Oh, it's not. I thought it was turning out white. So I'm going to tie it, lift it up, tie it. It's pretty darn tight. You see, my eyes want to look Chinese. <laughs> so then, okay, I'm going to lift that up some. I wanted it to be a high bun. I think it's high. Tie it, tie it in the back. Yeah, I tie it maybe like three or four times, then I tuck it. You see, I use a lot of product. Y'all see it? Too much. I'm just heavy handed. When I moisturize my hair, my mama, she sometimes likes to moisturize my hair because she said I be using too much of her products. Because me and my mama are natural. And, yeah. <laughs> Now it is. I'm just heavy handed with stuff. I don't even be meaning to be. It's just like I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of hair, so a little a little dot not gonna work for me. Bobby pins, cause this is not a messy blend. Or is this a pineapple blend? So I'm gonna wrap it around. Okay, so we're gonna do my edges. And don't come at me this time because I've been having people come at me in the comments about my edges. 
about I don't know how to do them. Like, y'all, come on now. Let's be nice. Because I got a lot of edges. Okay, I'm going to use some more. Because it likes to turn like flat. I have thick hair, so I'm sorry. But I have I don't do my edges like how y'all do y'all edges. So now, now, this is how much edge control I'm trying to flick nobody out. This is how much edge control I use. So we're just gonna, you know, go on, use it. I sleep when I try different edge control though. Because this one, I love it, but it turns my edges. I don't know why, like, what ingredient do they put in here? That makes your edges turn a little white. I don't like that. God dang, I sleep my hair down. And sometimes I get edge control, y'all, and I put it right here. Y'all gonna notice that I do that. And I do it because, I don't know, it just gives it that clean look to me. I need to get some more of this, though. Y'all too much in here. It's not gonna work for me. But yeah, what's some good edge controls, y'all? Because I don't want to waste my money and buy something that's not going to work. Y'all comment down below. Everyone's hair is different. My hair is 4A, 4B. I don't think I have any 3C hair. I mean, not 3C. 4C. Y'all comment down below and let me know what, what works for y'all. And what's your hair type. So then, I don't know. Like, okay. Like this might work for me. I don't like wasting money. Because I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I want to do this action like this today. Okay, we're going to get this part. <laughs> I don't really care. Okay, so oh, my eyes blurry. I'm trying to see how that looks. I'm trying to make it just look like fool without you. So I'm get my hair tied. take this off so we can see the product the finished product <sighs> yes, <we can>. boom <laughs> so yeah it came out right edges okay okay I don't want nobody saying nothing about my edges don't do it don't do it but yeah, y'all, this is the finished product of how my hair looks. But thanks you guys for watching my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, you might subscribe because me and my K babies are lit. And we lit because we really like that. Period. Thanks you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay encouraged. And please wash your hands. Love you, K babies. Blood up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. I miss the way that you look in my eyes, and that's why I'm getting back with you, girl. Keep on talking about my.